So we're just leaving Ponferrada, so we made it to Ponferrada. What an epic day we had yesterday. And um, it was actually my favorite day of the whole Camino so far. Yours too, yeah? yeah? Yeah. What an awesome day we had, but long. We, we walked for 10 hours. The, the battery died just as we got into um, that town at the bottom of the mountain. Mess something? Yeah, mess something. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it was beautiful, beautiful little town. We thought, okay, we're not going any further. It was another seven, seven kilometers of Pomferrada. The sun was already about to go down. So we so, said, okay, we'll stop here. Asked where the alberger was. We had to walk all the way through the town, out the other side. The one that we won was closed. We, then someone said there's another one further on. We walked further on, we got to it. About a kilometer out of the town. It just didn't have, there was no one there. It didn't have a nice feeling to it. And uh, you have to call the guy to get him to come down. The sign on the door, so we decided, well, Victoria decided, let's just walk on. Wow, what a change. After like eight, eight and a half hours of walking, she said, let's just walk to the next town. Amazing transformation, I think. And so we walked on. I, 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 I didn't feel like it, but we walked on anyway. And uh, we made it to Pomferrada here. It was dark, it was like quarter past seven. Uh, so we'd, we'd walk for 10 hours. But it was an amazing day. Right? Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Now we're going to Via Franca. Franca. It might be about 23 kilometers. We did, we did over 50 kilometers in two days over a mountain range. Yesterday we walked almost 30 kilometers. Feels like we've definitely broken through, had a big breakthrough, I think. You know, it's just been an amazing couple of days going over the mountains. And to get away so early this morning as well feels really nice for a change. We had to get away early, they, cut, they, uh, they kick you out at 8 o'clock. So. And they're, they're pretty strict on it. So quarter, quarter to 8 this morning, uh, with all our stuff not even packed, Victoria thought it would be a good idea to manicure her nails. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So a lot of shouting had to be done. Get her in order. The city isn't big on signs and we're just muddling our way through asking people, trying to find the way uh, back to the, the, the Camino. We've come to like a massive roundabout here with 10 different directions and no sign whatsoever on which way to go. Oh, by the way, the Alberger last night was very nice. It was by donation, uh, full cooking facilities and uh, we got a room to ourselves. So it was just uh, awesome. Nice people there as well. We still haven't found the Camino, but there's a sign for Galicia. That's where we're going, so we'll follow that sign. We got lost. I don't know how we managed it, but uh, we've, we've not seen any yellow arrows for ages, and uh, we've been walking for about an hour. The joys of walking out of a city, we've been walking for two hours, and we're still in a built-up area, walking past car dealerships and all sorts of things like that. Uh, it's not the most fun walk, but it's, it's been a lovely morning. And we've just now got out into a little bit, little bit of countryside. All sorts of things like that dotted along the way. Different things, people hanging trees. Yesterday I saw like a button on a thread just hanging from a branch. and Things like that, people like to do. Este banco es para descanso del peregrino, respetalo, buen camino. It's for rest for pilgrim. Santiago, 194.5 kilometers. That's pretty exact. We're almost there. Probably about another another week, and we'll be in Santiago. I don't think Victoria knows yet. We're going to keep walking to finish Terra. Maybe she won't do it. I don't know. We'll see. But now it's, it's, the weather's fair, so she has a little water dragon, indigo phoenix, on her back. He's got more room when he's on her back. And he's, he's going that way instead of going backwards, so it's nicer for him sometimes. Sometimes it's nicer for me on the front, as we can see here. But when it's not windy, it's not raining, it's nicer for him to be on the back. He's fast asleep at the minute. Yesterday evening as we were coming into Ponferrada, this guy uh, walked around the corner and he said something to me um, about something derogatory. 
and I couldn't, he said in a, in a, in a certain dialect and very, he said it very fast, I couldn't understand exactly what he said, um, but through his tonality and his physiology, I, you know, it, it's, it was something he said to me, it was derogatory, and in response, I turned to him and said, I wonder, can you help me? Uh, we're looking for the Alberger. Do you know, is it around here somewhere? And it completely changed the way he was. He, he suddenly shifted and he went, oh yeah, yeah. And he pointed and he gave us perfect directions of how to get there. And it's, it's, it's amazing that as soon as I asked him for help, as soon as he felt that he was that he was needed and that he was valuable and that he was able to be of service then he completely switched his mindset and was was able to help us and I think that's the thing when someone is being derogatory or trying to put you down or anything like that it's because they're not feeling secure within themselves and they don't feel of value or don't feel or that obviously not being of service so to be able to uh, to do that can switch someone's mindset and is a powerful little thing. It just so happened that we did need help and when that guy said that I thought, okay, well, I'll say this back to him and see how he responds. And it worked out pretty well. This is a cool little house. Don't know what it was built for. Very cool. Victoria and I just had a little debate whether it was a tree house or not. I said it can't be a tree house because it's not built in a tree. A tree house is a house that's built inside a tree. But she still thinks it's a tree house. Women's logic, I don't know. We're just walk We're just walking through Cacabelos. Cacabelos. Um and just had some food here. We had some patatas bravas. It's one of the, the only vegan foods we can eat if we get to a cafe or something. Um, we just got to make sure that we ask that the sauce has no mayonnaise because sometimes they put mayonnaise in the hot sauce that they give you with the potatoes of bravas. Um, so yeah, now we've got about eight kilometers to go maybe. We've got to go over a hill down the other side and then we're in Via Franca, Cacabelos, lovely little, little town. Maybe that, but it's all part of the, the ambience of Cacabelos. What do you got to say about that? What? Anything. Just flap your lips. <laughs> Can you see the owl in the tree? An E.T. below him? It's an owl and E.T. below. Well, I can see him anyway. Victoria sees other things in the trees other than owls and E.T. <laughs> but that's just what Victoria sees. Look at this. Shoe shining place. I don't know that's I've never seen a shoe shining place like that. No, it's not. no definitely not a shoe shining place. And, and, and that wasn't a tree house back there either. <laughs> it's to uh, scrunch the wine, I think. We're guessing that's Via Franca there in the mountainside, about 5k away. It's so incredibly warm today. We've been at an elevation of like not less than 800 meters for maybe 12 days. And now we're down to an elevation of 200 meters and the weather's completely different. It's, it's almost humid-like in comparison. But nice to be in the lowlands for a change and tomorrow we head up to the highlands again for one last one last big climb over the next day or two before going back into the lowlands towards the ocean over this next week all right we've just made it to Via Franca looks like a pretty cool old cultural town just been chatting here all the way along with the last couple of couple of kilometers with again. Sebastian, the guy that keeps on following us, <laughs> the stalker. and we, we've we've lost Victoria. She's in, in the distance there. 
So just as we're chatting, and just time just went, and suddenly we're here. Boom. That was a good walk today. Enjoyed it. Uh, they, they are the owners that are open in the, in the town. Are they Phoenix or something? <laughs> They're the owners yeah. of the Alberga, yeah? yeah. I've seen them on. I've seen them in YouTube. That's why for me it was like a superstar. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I oh, saw really? him a long time ago Watch. on YouTube. This guy. This is true that. They've come back. Okay. Yo le digo, yo le digo. Roncadores. Antonio, me ha dicho Cato que la casa es roncadora. Roncadores. Roncadores, se llama así la habitación. Ah, ya, vale. There's a room for roncadores that you can be alone with the baby. That's why I say. Ahí puedo estar comiendo de él. Es más feliz. Gracias. Yeah, that's what they say. Cool. Haven't you seen him? No. Okay, yeah. This guy is very, is very known. He's, he's, like, he's very similar to the Templar we... we oh, really, yeah? yeah? The guy yeah. driving? Yeah, because it's, uh, he's open the entire year and uh, yeah, he helps sometimes even though you don't pay. And, yeah, this is a very given for guy too. Okay. He's open the entire year. Yeah. So this is the one we're saying that we're They're saying also that part of the Templar Cofradi or something. Oh, they are, yeah? Uh, Woke up. Hey, your son. Hello, boy. Gorgeous boy. Hey, we're here. <laughs> How is that, darling? I don't want to walk anymore. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We need to um, go to the shop. Yeah. That's 23 kilometers at least walks a day, maybe 25, and uh, pretty easy. We've uh, we've done a lot harder. We're uh, we're conditioned now. And it's a beautiful little town. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Yeah. Check it out. Solo peregrinos, son los minos. Looks nice. Cool. While you're gonna play, you come in and you go to the green, and then you go to the bananas. Yay! Hopefully they're throwing those out and we can eat them. Only banana. Only banana. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Vamos a tomar, les bendiga a todos nosotros también. Que le dé a los que no tengan, que tengan buen camino, que lleguen bien a Santiago, que el camino sea de luz, de paz y de amor. Un estrella, su sella, Santiago. Anda, Petito, y buen camino. Hola. Hola. Espero que os guste. Yo lo hago con poco sal. Ah. Vale, no pasa nada.